Hey readers, today we're going to talk about the book that you've just listened to, Suki's Kimono. So if you have not listened to this story, head on over to the IRA and listen to it first before you try to complete this activity. Okay, so this was a really sweet story about a little girl named Suki. And um, she is very brave and has a lot of courage. Um, she does something that's not really popular. She wears a kimono on the first day of school. Now, a kimono is this kind of wraparound dress type thing. They're typically worn in um, Japan, which is a country way on the other side of the world. Um, and so this is not typical American clothing. Well, Suki lives in America, and her um, family, she has some family that lives in Japan, and they brought her this kimono when they came to visit this summer. Um, so she decided to wear it to the first day of school in America, which is very unusual because, you know, typically we don't wear kimonos um, to school in America. And her sisters tried to warn her. They said, you know what? You better not wear that. You're going to get picked on. You know, they warned her. But, you know, Suki was brave and strong and courageous, and I'm so proud of her um, her feelings like that. Um, and she proudly wears her kimono to school. And um, if you listen to the story, then you know it ended up pretty well. She did get picked on a little bit, but it didn't bother her. She didn't let those people's opinions affect her feelings. Smart girl. So, um, so Suki what learned to be strong and believe in herself. And it's okay to be different from other people. And doing what's right it, for you will make yourself happy, okay? All right, so now I want to talk to you about the activity that you're going to see in there. Um, the first one you'll see is this, characters and settings. So in characters, you'll just list the different characters that are in the story. Just write their names, okay? The setting, describe the time and the place that this story happened. Okay, there's actually two different settings because the beginning of the story was in one place and then they moved to another place. So make sure you mention both. The overall message of this story is... Um, needs to be something about Suki's courage and how brave she is um, for doing something that was different or not popular, knowing that she might get picked on. So tell me, what did you learn from this story? Okay, um, what, what, you know, like to be strong in yourself and believe in yourself. It's okay to be different, you know, those type of things. So write me a good sentence there. All right, then your code word for this um, story for the um, box on the thing is kimono, kimono. So write this down right now so you know you can enter it in there. It's K-I-M-O-N-O, -O, and that's what she wore. So there's going to be a box on this assignment to write in the secret code word from the video, and that word is kimono, okay? And now the second page that you're going to see is just five multiple choice questions that you'll read, and then you'll circle the right answer, okay? Y'all have seen these before. One, two, and three are fairly easy, so we're not going to talk about those. We are going to talk about number four. What is the author's message? That's similar to um, the overall message on the story that you wrote a sentence with on the page before, but then there's three choices here. So the choices are be yourself. It's okay to be different. B, always buy a souvenir to help you remember a special place. C, don't listen to the advice of others. So what was the author's message for this story? So circle one of them. And then number five, what is the genre of this story? Um, the first one um, is fantasy. Fantasy means that it is like make-believe and pretend. It really couldn't happen in real life. Like it's going to have probably some animals talking or um, some sort of magic or imaginary thing that really can't happen. So they're fun to read, but they're not real at all. They're fantasy. B is realistic fiction. Uh, and look at the word in the beginning. Real. Okay. Realistic fiction is just that. It is, um, it's a story that can happen. Okay. Um, it is a made-up story, but there's no fantasy, magic, imaginary stuff in it. It all really could happen. And then C is nonfiction. Nonfiction is a type of story that usually just gives you information. It's to, like, um, inform you about stuff and just give you facts and information about that. So, um, can't wait to see your work. 
and about Suki's kimono, don't forget to type in the code word in the blue box. Okay? Can't wait to see your work. Bye-bye.